like Arsenio Hall. Hip hop hooray ho everybody and welcome to episode and thusly week three of this week in You Found Me by The Fray. Last week, due to my own procrastination, the show was accidentally uploaded on Easter Sunday. And while I thought that that might be a good way for everybody to celebrate the resurrection of our boy JC, I realize now that the posting of the episode and what I just said might be sacrilegious. Mea culpa. So let's get to it. So this week, normally, if you watch the last two, normally meaning two times, the honorable mentions are You Found Me related content that aren't covered. This time, I went with You Found Me covers that I just didn't feel like putting in the regular rotation. Anyway, let's get into the honorable mention, shall we? So this first one is an honorable mention because it was posted this week, but it was recorded many, many moons ago. I think I left it in the rotation because I long for the days when we could be in a place that isn't our home. Wishful thinking. You know, I, I'm leaving this in rotation so it can maybe act as a form of escapism, like watching a, a relaxing film like Finding Nemo or Othello or something like that. On to number two. So this one is an honorable mention because I don't really feel like I should give a child any criticism. You know, I firmly believe that you shouldn't criticize children. I'm the youngest of three, so I was very rarely criticized. And you know, look how that worked out for me. I self-produce a show about a song that I don't really care about. So I think it worked out pretty well. Now let's get into the covers. And I'm not talking about going to bed. I ranked four covers this week. Just thought I'd let you know before we jump in so that that fourth place title card doesn't catch you by surprise. I found on the corner of first and I'm a star with the So I appreciate this one. You know, the fact that he's recording it in his kitchen makes the song feel very accessible, which is good. We want to make people feel like they can cover it. But I still feel like there's something deeply uncomfortable about it. It feels like he's really mad at me while he's singing it. And the angle and the way he's carrying the camera makes me feel like I'm a young cat being carried around by the fat on my neck. And I don't like to be made to feel that vulnerable. You're in fourth place, buddy. My apologies. Move on to spot numero three. I found God on the corner of first and ninth side where the west was all. Sounds like you might be singing with a bit of an accent. I mean, forgive me if not, but if you are, I think that's great. It gives the cover an international reach and uh, by proxy, this show an international reach. I'm sure that that's going to do wonders for this episode's numbers. If you're wherever this accent is from, welcome to the show. And thank you, spot number three, for reeling in that international audience like many a fish. I really like the visual style of this one. The album cover looks like there's a key on my keyboard that when I press it, it just instantly types, you found me the fray which would make what i'm doing right now just way easier and honestly that's why you're losing points you're flaunting what could be in my face like humans flaunting their freedom in front of zoo animals this album cover flies free and i'm a bird in a cage let's move on to spot number two Yes, this one gets credit for the gall that it takes to post a cover that is just nothing else. That takes a lot of guts. Small intestine, your large intestine, your stomach, your lungs. That takes guts. You got all of them. Again, like the one in the first week, it's very mysterious because I can't see a damn thing. 
It's very horror movie-esque. It's sort of like that final scene in Silence of the Lambs, the night vision scene. But instead, when the lights come on, I'm going to see a beautiful cover of You Found Me by the Fray instead of Buffalo Bill. And my god, if that's not a relief, I don't know what is. Let's move on to spot number one. I found God on the corner of first and Nonestad, where the West is all but one. I know what you're thinking. First glance, cover seems cool, but just wait a second. I'm going to show even more footage of it because it takes a very unexpected turn. At least it did to me. So, you know, due to me posting on Easter last week, and because of said turn that we just saw, it felt like a message for me to put this cover at number one this week. But beyond that, I also really appreciate that the band looks like the cast of a Nickelodeon original movie. Looks like the Jimmy Nitron cast came to life. And that's always fun. But finally, I gotta say that I hope you guys are all living in that church together and have been for months. Because if you left home to do this, there ain't no bigger sin than that. And I'm pretty sure even the man upstairs can agree with me on that one. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of This Week and You Found Me by The Fray. And please, tweet it at The Fray. DM it to The Fray. I think mainly for legality's sake, they should know that I'm doing this. And I don't have a direct line. So maybe next week we'll have that direct line. I know for a fact that next week we'll have more covers because there are all the time for some reason. And I hope that you will join me then to appreciate them. I appreciate you for watching. Good night.